share this one scripture, amen. Galatians chapter 6, um, verse 17 says, From henceforth, let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus. And I, I got stabbed some, some years ago, and, and I got proof <laughs> that I was stabbed. But the wound, Pastor Malcolm, is an indication of two things. That I was hurt, and also I've been healed. Now let me say no. I've been healed because I'm still here. I've been healed because I'm able to testify of what God did. And God spoke to me to go along with everybody else what God is saying, amen, that this year God is saying that the church needs to be transparent. Mm. Ain't nobody going to say that. The church needs to be transparent. And it starts from us leaders. There's people in the church that's wounded because leaders are hiding. They don't want nobody to know that they've been through some things. And they hide in their scars. Paul said, I bear in my body the marks, the scars of the Lord Jesus because I'm transparent. I don't, I don't have no makeup. I don't have nothing to hide. And God spoke to me and, he, and I was at my church and he said, get the bottle of oil and look at it. And this is a, this is a, this is a vessel of oil. You can see the oil but at the same time, you can see the bottle. Yeah. And if you look hard enough, this bottle is transparent that I'm able to see on the other side. Right. Oh, God. Oh, God. And God, oh, God, I feel you right here. Oh. God said that if you become transparent as this vessel, not only will you be transparent, but you will also be a carrier of my oil. So church, we got to be transparent. And people pick on Thomas all the time. Thomas said, I'm not going to believe until I see him for myself. Come on now. I'm not going to believe until I see him for myself. Thomas just didn't want to see Jesus, but he wanted to see his God. And Jesus showed up and said, Thomas, Look at my scars. Yes. My There's women in churches and everybody's church that have been raped, been robbed, been abused, and we got women that have been through it but don't want to tell nobody. Folks are hurting because the church ain't transparent. We got men that are struggling with pornography, sitting in the pulpit, Because we don't want to be transparent. You done cheated on your wife. You sit in the pool pit. This brother struggling with that same disease that you had. And you don't want to tell him because you don't want your, your image. You don't want your image to be tarnished. You don't want nobody to look at you different because you want everybody to lift you up when you walk in the room. But if you become transparent, and begin to reveal your stars to the folk, don't have nothing to hide. The stars that I carry is only indication that I've been hurt. Also, I've 